A local preservation group is calling on the new owners of the old seaboard train station to preserve the building. Yeah, the property was bought by a developer back in December, and plans are in the works to turn it into a walkable mixed use development. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth joins us live after talking to the group that wants to keep the city's history intact. Brea. Yeah, that's right. I spoke with a member of Mordecai CAC who says this building is a part of Raleigh's history. It was built in 1942, survived both World War II and civil rights eras, and the group says they don't want another historical building to go away. Required. To Matthew Brown, there's nothing more beautiful than the old seaboard train station building. Look at it. It's a gorgeous neoclassical revival porticos. It was uh, built in 1942. He's a historical preservationist and a member of the local group Mordecai CAC. He can tell you a lot about its history. Twelve trains a day stopped here. This is where all the soldiers headed to World War II left their families. And all that history is why he and others with Mordecai CAC want the building to stay in its place. A new developer has plans to turn it into a mixed-use space. They're currently asking the city to rezone the property from seven stories to 20. Brown told me he fears the building will be torn down. The city gives the developer this huge gift of nearly tripling the capacity of the property they need to insist that the developer include the condition that the train station will be saved. Right now, the future of this building is still up in the air. Last month, the City of Raleigh's Planning and Zoning Commission recommended the approval of zoning conditions that would preserve at least 50% of the building. Developers did not say how it would be preserved. Brown told me he wants it written in the rezoning application that the train station will be saved. They have not added the condition of saving it in this rezoning application so they could still tear it down. Now we reached out to the developer but did not hear back. This is set to go before the Raleigh City Council. They have a public hearing scheduled for September 6th. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. All right, Brea, thanks for that.